which is what is a page and how does one structure it? Like, um, see, as well as doing the uh, Mad, he also did a comic called Two Fisted Tales at the height of the Korean War. War stories that weren't like um, Sergeant Rock uh, or, or uh, the Marvel versions of these things that were all just like uh, John Wayne He-Man uh, um, tossing grenades into a pile of uh, weird yellow-skinned creatures. Um, he did a story in this called to uh, corpse on the engine that he drew as well as broke down. It's taking place during the Korean War. Um, there's talking and, the, about, and the Korean War was going on while the comic, while this was comic, comic book was done. Yeah, he also had stories that took place in the Civil War and World War One and Two. But this one, Korean War story, looking at a corpse floating down the engine River and wondering how it died. So this page is three tiers, two of which are a large panel. Then three horizontal panels, uh, panels with a horizontal figure going by, because horizontal means inert, right? Like lying down or dead. Then we go to a person watching it and speculating on how that person did, a GI who's wondering how he might uh, have died. All of these are built on the vertical of somebody sitting somewhere. And then there's this amazing thing. He's beginning to eat his K rations while he's speculating about this. And there's a face inside the bushes, a yellow face. Now, in any other war comic, this is uh, the exact moment that a battle happens, but hand-to-hand uh, -hand combat, he's saying, maybe that corpse died in hand-to-hand -hand combat, but that never happens. And then what he does is an astonishing thing. He shifts over, again, in three-tiered panels, everyone either two panels wide or three panels wide, so it's uh, kind of uh, even rhythms. You get to see over the shoulder of the Korean soldier who's hungry and is not attacking for ideological reasons, but from hunger. Uh, and it, it lets you identify with this as a human, which is the opposite of the way war comic jingoism worked. Um, then, as he leaps at him to get the food, it becomes a swirl of activity, right? Like uh, they're circling around each other. There are a lot of diagonals. It becomes frantic and active as they're fighting each other. Um, here, each row of text, now you know this because you've written many comics that have a lot of text in them. Uh, what he's done is allowed there to be a lot of text, but he's always making sure that the, it's three lines of text so that the box doesn't have to change size, so the rhythm remains the same. Uh, so the verbal rhythms are part of making that page happen. In the center there are these diagonals, and then we go to a page where they're both in the river, and he begins to... Um, they're struggling, he's dunking him down to the river. Verticals again, with these ripples coming up out of his arms as he submerges the Korean um, and uh, manages to run away, having uh, barely survived this hand-to-hand -hand combat. And then the body moves through its diagonals and circles down and floats down the Imjin River from this moment of hand-to-hand -hand combat. It's a very short story, six pages is usually just enough time for somebody to clear their throat and contempo graphic novels, as they call them, you know? And I think it, it's actually a very poetically charged story, a beautiful, beautifully drawn thing, very brought down to its graphic design. And it actually taught me this kind of comic storytelling, which was as much present in Mad Comics as in the War Comics, had these very definitive rhythms. Each page is a paragraph. And it wasn't just a run-on sentence of panels until the story got told. And I think that's what I learned most when working on Mouse was how to structure pages from, from Harvey and from Will Eisner as well. You know, I, people I was, really thought about the page. I was fascinated when I first started writing comics because I, when I started writing comics, I thought the unit was the, was the panel. And I rapidly learned that, no, the unit of communication here is the page. And you have to think pages. And I would drive my editors mad by wanting to know which pages were going to be facing adverts. Because mm -hmm. I was writing for DC Comics and there were ads. Um, which I wanted to know because I always wanted to know when somebody was turning a page.